this week on House of Carters. I want to take a vacation. Go ahead. It stabbed you? Yeah. And he's been bleeding internally all day since it happened. You want to take your self to the hospital, and you know that. You never take care of yourself. That's what I am is? very sexually frustrated, okay? Can this family be saved? Comedian Josh Wolf is a father of three with three older brothers. Shannon Fox is a licensed psychotherapist and mother of two. Together, they discuss and dissect primetime's most entertaining siblings. Stay tuned as E puts the Carters on the couch. They took a trip? The Carters. They did. I, I, and exciting. when I saw the RV, I thought for sure by the time they get to San Diego, somebody was getting tossed out of there. But they, they were perfect. They held it together. They, that was a nice RV. I know. But they're the Cortez. They get the nice RV. Spare no expense, $2,700 on surf equipment and, and clothes. It seemed to me that actually Aaron just spent the $2,700 for a phone number. And yours comes to twenty-seven forty-four. Oh, I love it! What did I tell you? I love it. I was gonna ask you for your number. Sure. That's cool. It came out later too that he said that it, it's been a year since he's had sex. He's sexually frustrated. So twenty-seven hundred dollars might not be too high a price to pay for a phone number for somebody, an eighteen-year-old who's sexually frustrated. I know, but you could go to Vegas and just drop five hundred. <laughs> I'm just saying. Not that I know. Uh, what? Um. <laughs> So they make it down to San Diego, mm -hmm. um, and everybody seems happy. Right. Nick decides, I want to take a family vacation, yeah. right, which was nice. It really seems like they, the bonding that they did at the end of the last episode, after all of the frustration and the anger with Leslie, they, they came together. It seemed like they resolved their issues for the time being. And they felt more like a family. Yeah, this, the, the shot of the four of them sitting and watching Aaron yeah. surf, you know, it, it was like, well, they kind of look normal, you know? Mm -hmm. And then he was out surfing, and they were like, wow, he got up on the board, and then it happened. Oh, my God. Aaron! It stabbed you? Yeah. He yeah, he doing. looks sick. He does look sick. I'm not going Let's take I him to the freaking some. something to get him checked out, put some fluid in him. No, he's going to the doctor. Period. So they rally around each other. Mm-hmm. When which they're was wounded. Nice. Mm hmm And um, you know, they get to the hospital and they make sure he's never alone. It's very nice. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what's going on. I don't want everybody to freak out. The surfboard hit his liver and he's been bleeding internally all day since it happened. They tend to rally around the person who needs them mm -hmm. the most. They need to be needed. And I was thinking that that's probably because as they were growing up, they were separated from each other. Nick was off making records, Aaron became a star at a very young age, uh, the parents were separated and divorced, and so it's likely that the only time that they came together as a family was when somebody was in need. So that's what they know of family, is family is together when you need them. The day after when Aaron was talking about, I want to go home, right? right? I don't want to stay another day. And Nick, what did he say? Because if she didn't look at you or I didn't look out for you, you want to take your self to the hospital, and you know that. You never take care of well, you. What he threw back in Aaron's face was, after everything we did for you last night, which was taking him to the hospital. It's like he wants credit for that. You don't get credit. It's like, hey, I don't shoot heroin. Good for you. You don't get credit for that. Right. You're not supposed to shoot heroin. Right. And you're supposed to take your brother to the hospital. So they keep score even when they mm. do good things for each other. Do you even care that we are do concerned? Care? You guys are over concerned right now. Aaron comes out of the hospital. He's got a new lease on life, right? He learned his lesson. Learned his lesson. Mm -hmm. and, and then five seconds later, I'm gonna go home. I'm sexually frustrated. What? I want to go back and have sex. Because it's been a year since I had any sex, and you guys are all having lots of sex. That's and what I it am is? very sexually frustrated, okay? Do you remember being an 18 year old boy? Oh, yeah. All right. So, the sexual frustration, whether it had been a year or not, never happened to me. Pretty. What? He's 18 years old. Yeah. 
His parents were nowhere around. He was in the hospital. He thought he was bleeding internally. So he wanted to be home. Yeah, but it's not like, ah, oh, my liver was bleeding. I miss my parents. I need some sex. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't. I just don't know where it came from. It was such an odd. Like I was like, where is he? He was like, he walked out. He's like, I gotta go home. I don't want to be here. I'm just sexually frustrated. What? <laughs> Under my watch or not even under my watch, I am going to protect every single one of you, all right? Because that is who we are. We are a family. We are the five, the core, the five, the fifth. Fifth. <laughs> and Nick has such a weird way, in my professional opinion, mm. of expressing that he's going to take care of people. I mean, he's very boisterous about it, isn't it? But when they were all on the bed, they seemed close, they were laughing, right. they were able to joke around, they were actually able to laugh at Nick. He didn't take it personally, he didn't get mad, they laughed at Aaron, they all made jokes, and they just seemed like they were so comfortable, and I'm so curious to find out how Nick is going to react when the real father is in the picture. So, next episode, Paul's coming, Paul's coming! You think he's going to get all cute and cuddly? Well, his role is going to be gone. He doesn't have to play dad anymore. I can't wait. Don't forget to tune in to E! every Monday night at 9 for a brand new episode of House of Carters. And check back with The Vine for more from Josh and Shannon and exclusive House of Carters clips you won't see anywhere else. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34